so much to tell you. Don't say another word. I see you've been busy. Dad wasn't working for the university. His accident was a cover-up for something much bigger. Jenny? And it's not the first time it's happened. There's an organization running secret operations all over town. Jenny! And Dean Strasberry was working for them, too. Stop! You already know, don't you? So you knew he was still alive, and you didn't tell me? What? Who's still alive? Dad survived the explosion! He's alive! Dad is alive! But they're keeping him prisoner in a room hidden under the graveyard. No, Jenny. He sent us a message. He's trapped. We have to rescue him, together. I'm sorry, Jenny. But you're wrong. But it's true. I used the Dean's ring to make a key for the door. I can explain everything on the way. What? Why do you have the Dean's ring? Well, I, uh, found it in the library. You stole evidence from a crime scene? Well, yeah, but... Now's not the time to discuss the ethics of my investigation. Give it to me. Why? Give me the ring. Now. No. Jenny LeClue, for once in your life will you just do as you're told? Don't you understand? Someone is coming to kill you. Go back the way you came and don't tell anyone that you were here. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, which is precisely why you have to leave. Leave? I'm the reason you're still alive. The whole town thinks you killed the Dean. I'm the only one who believes you didn't. You didn't, right? You shouldn't have come here. Why won't you tell me the truth? What did you talk to the Dean about before he died? And what happened at Widow's Drop? Jane! The man in black just entered the crypt! Is that Susie Glatz? You've got to get out of there, now! Leave, immediately. Find Susie and go home. You've put her in terrible danger. A great detective never keeps secrets from her daughter. This is a discussion for another time. I have to go before it's too late. Did you hear me, Jenny? He's coming! Get out of there! We're leaving right now, Susie. Mom, I'm coming with you. No. Promise you won't follow me, Jenny. Drop all this nonsense. Go home and stay out of trouble. Promise me. You'd be dead if it weren't for me. If it weren't for you, then none of this would have happened. She was right. Jenny should never have gone to the library that day. If she had simply returned home instead, her mother would never have been caught. If you had just listened to me for once. I was just trying to help. How can you help? You are a child. This isn't a missing baseball card, Jenny. It's not a classroom murder mystery. There are real consequences to your actions. What about Dad? He needs our help. Your father is dead, Jenny. We have to accept that. You're wrong. I followed the clues. I decoded his message. He's alive. Enough! It's time to let this fantasy go. I got this far on my own. I'll find my own way back. But at least take this. You'll need it. No, you keep it. It's pitch black in the tunnels. You'll be lost without it. There's no time to argue. Please, just let me help you.
kill someone else? I can't do it, can I? Who would it be? I can't bear it. It's too much. First her father and now her mother. How will the poor girl ever recover? All of this could have been avoided if I just stuck to my original formula. There must be a way to fix this. You're right, Rufus. I need some rest. These long writing sessions are starting to take their toll. Mom, you broke my... But Jenny's mother was gone. More confused than ever, Jenny had no choice but to make her way back through the sewer completely alone. Well, apart from the man coming to kill her, of course. Not helpful. Jenny! You've got to get out of here. The Shadow Men are dangerous, and my boxing skills aren't what they used to be. You were right all along, CJ. About everything. You saw them? The little green men? Okay, maybe not everything. It's never aliens. Until it is. But all the strange phenomena around town? I've seen it too. Good. It's all connected. And my mom knows more than she's letting on. Yes, trust no one. What did she tell you before I arrived? She asked you to do something for her. What was it? I'll never tell. She swore me to secrecy. Excellent. You passed the test. Did I? Mom told me you would never give her up. That's why she gave me the secret code. Widow's Drop. Ah, so she told you as well. Yes, I've just forgotten some of the details. What did she need us to do? Let's see, it was very important. Life or death, find Widow's Drop. That was first. Look for the flowers, use the key. Oh, wear the gloves, very important. It's a lot to fit in before sunrise. And where is Widow's Drop? Good question. I don't remember. Did she at least give you a sense of which direction she was going? Um, well, if I'm north and you're south, then she must have been going, um... It was no good. CJ's memory was jumbled at the best of times. Right now, Jenny needed to evade the man in black and get back to the room where her father was trapped. Stay safe, CJ. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, uh, yes. Goodbye, Jenny. Keep your eyes open. The truth is closer than you think. Now, Mom went that way. But Jenny wouldn't be following her. Damn.
My mom isn't here. Oh no! What happened? Jenny? Jenny, are you okay? Abandoned by her mother, hunted by a killer, covered in filthy water, Jenny LeCrew was most certainly not okay. Just let me focus on not getting brutally murdered. Dr. Benderson says it's always better to get things out in the open. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. The head was shrouded in darkness. I sure wish I still had my flashlight. Was Jenny ready for the next chapter of her adventure? An unfamiliar feeling began to ferment in the back of Jenny's mind. Doubt. Why did her mother act so suspiciously? Where did she go in such a hurry? Jenny had expected answers, but now each step forward felt as if the ground were crumbling beneath her feet.